guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel, Brian the Floridian. Uh, great to see you guys back. I'm back in the shave den, and I am ready for a shave. Today is Saturday, and I got a little bit of growth on my face, about a day and a half of growth. And today is going to be a special shave. It's going to be a tribute shave for my friends at K-Shave Works, Kelly and Kevin uh, Daugherty from Upstate New York. They own K-Shave Works, so they are the arsons behind great stuff like this. Uh, great stuff like, man, they make a great lot of great soaps. I know Kevin used to make brushes, but lots of great stuff. They made a lot of soaps for South Florida wet shavers and for, from what I understand, for other groups also out there, other wet shaving groups on Facebook. But anyway, guys, they announced about two weeks ago they're going to be closing up shop and stop making uh, shave products. I guess they got too busy. Uh, they are going into different ventures, I guess, their careers. Their main jobs are becoming more busy, so they're unable to continue making wet shaving products. But anyway, guys, this is a tribute shave for, for all the best to Kevin and Kelly. And I'll be using this soap right here, which is one of my favorite K-Shaver soaps. This is called Miami Nights, and this is through South Florida Wet Shavers, and this is a great soap. This is one of my first soaps I purchased uh, through the, the South Florida Wet Shavers that was made by K-Shave Works. So they've, they've made soaps for the South Florida Wet Shaver group for, for many years. Um, I think they were, I think they were the, one of the first vendors that, or artists that made soaps for them besides uh, Soap Commander, but they made a few soaps for, definitely for uh, South Florida Wet Shavers. And this is a great soap. This is my favorite, one of my favorite scents to use. So this will be my, my soap for my shave. And I'll be using my Rex Ambassador uh, Cinna Steel Just My Razor. And I got this on a setting of three. Not sure if you can see that. Not sure if you can focus and see that. So this will be about, you know, about middle of the road, mild setting. Not, not too aggressive. Probably right in smack dab in the middle for aggression. But, I mean, it goes up to... It goes up to six, I believe. So right, yeah. It's, it goes up to six settings, so the three is right in the middle. So this will be my shave with that. And I'm going to be going back to the uh, the blade I used last time for my shave, which is the Tweet Platinum Blade. So this is a stainless steel blade. And I had this pack given to me by my good friend Frank from the South Florida Shaver Group. And there's a lot in there. There's a few more blades in there. So this is like a 10-pack. And this will be my second blade out of this pack. And this will be my first use in the razor. And for the brush I'll be using is my my Razor Rock 400 brush. This is a limited edition with the aluminum handle. A nice, nice, pretty sturdy brush. Pretty, pretty a heavy brush too. Also, with the Black Noir uh, synthetic knot. So this is like real similar to the Game Changer knot, but a little bit softer though. So guys, I just took a shower, so I'm ready for my shave. Let me go rinse my face, guys, and I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got the brush lit up with the K Shave Works Miami Nights, and let's do that first face out of here with the with the brush. And right off the bat, this scent is amazing. This is one of my favorite scents in probably my shave den. And I have a lot of soaps. I mean, this is one of the one of my main favorite soaps to use. It just smells beautiful. It's definitely Definitely has a nice grapefruit type scent, kind of like a cologne type scent. But I can smell the grapefruit, the notes of grapefruit. I can smell the, a uh, little bit of like a, kind of like a barbershop, cologne type vibe to it. But it's a beautiful scent for sure. And this is the tallow version. So uh, the last, I think the last year or so that they released the tallow version of their soaps because they were making a lot of vegan soaps, mostly vegan soaps before that, so. And this formula is uh, pretty fantastic. Nice lather there, nice looking thick lather. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, nice thick lather from that K Shaberg soap. Mummy Nights. Got the uh, Rex Ambassador on three. 
let's go ahead and get started. So Case Shapeworks has been around, I believe they've been around since uh, 2015, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. And I have a lot of their soaps in my shave bin. Over the years, like I bought soaps from, from uh, South Little White Shavers that they made for them. And also, from their website on Etsy, I bought their soaps too. And I really enjoy all of them from K Shea Works. Just a great artisan. And really, one of the first artisans that ever, ever mailed me a sample. I saw when they first started making soaps, this is even before I joined South Wet Shavers. I was, you know, just a regular wet shaver. And I saw some of their, I think, I think they were, I think they had a Facebook page. But anyway, I was on some famous Facebook page, wet shaving uh, Facebook group page. It wasn't South Wet Shavers, it was something else. And, and they just came about. And I saw that they were, they released a soap called A Cure for the Bellyache. And they were talking about, I think they were talking about, when I say they, I mean Kevin and Kelly, or really Kelly was, was talking about her soap, about having a nice lime scent, citrus scent. And I made a comment on the Facebook, on that group, where whatever group I was in, that hey, I, I like to try that one of these. I like, I like this, I would love to try that. And she, see, she messaged me a scent, messaged me a, a message off of off on Facebook Messenger asked me for my address so she can mail me a sample of that cure for belly ache and I was really really surprised that she would do that. Just really nice, just a gracious, just a very kind artisan out there. That's that. I mean, for her to do that, for her to pay for shipping, I mean, I mean that's pretty awesome. That's pretty. Very awesome and generous. But after that, I just knew I had to try her stuff. And like I said, I went to the first uh, South Little Way Shavers uh, meetup group. I mean, I, got, I went to the very first one, at least my first one. And I, I believe it was in Sebring, Florida. And their soap for that group at the time, their their meetup soap was was called a Key, Key Lime Barbershop. And at the time, you can buy a a swag bag, and it would come in a bag with the aftershave. And I think I I want to believe I believe a shirt maybe, but you pay, you would pay for the for a swag bag, and and that was the main soap that came in the bag. And that is one of my favorite soaps. Also, was that Keelan Barbershop, which I don't have now, unfortunately. And I wish I would have bought one more before they sold them out, but. That was a great lime, key lime. That was a great lime scented soap. And speaking of great, this shade was pretty awesome, the first pass. No nicks. Uh, number three with this, with the tweet blade, was, was amazing. Yeah, this is definitely be becoming one of my favorite blades to use. So definitely want to get, <laughs> definitely love these blades. So thank you, Frank, for, for giving me this pack here. But man, this scent is amazing. This scent for Miami Nights is, I'd say is, uh, pretty strong. It's about maybe about eight or so in in the air in the bathroom. So sensory is about eight, but very very nice nice scent. And the performance from their new tallow version was great. But anyway, guys, let me go and rinse my face, and I'll tell you more stories about Keisha Works when I come right back. All right, guys, I'm back with my second pass here. First pass was amazing. So shortly after that first meetup with South Wish Shavers. The group released this, which was made by K Shade Works, and I immediately bought this because I wanted to try this out. This was, I mean, this this really, I love the first soap I got from them, which was the uh, Key Lime Barbershop. So I definitely want to try this one out, and I'm so glad I got this because this is, this is one of my favorite soaps, like I said, in my shave den. And I just love the scent. Very nice grapefruit scent.
But anyway, that's how I started down my what that's how I started down my K Shea Works journey, if you want to call it that. I mean, because after that I've also I also hit up Kevin from K Shea Works for he at the time he was making brushes. And I was looking for someone to make me a Tampa Bay race brush, you know, like a sports themed brush. And I hit him up and after collaborating, you know, going through, you know, emails and stuff like that, this is the one he made for me. This is this is through this is from K Shavers. Kevin made this for me, which is my Timber Bay Race brush. And as you can see, he did a great job. Nice looking colors. It's got the colors of the team right there. It's got the coin that says uh Timber Bay Rays. I'm not sure you can see that. Hopefully it focuses okay. But he did an excellent job on this brush. And I was actually going to try to have him make me a Timmy Bay Buccaneers brush because my team is in the playoffs and hopefully they win tomorrow against the Rams. I was trying to commission him to make me a, a brush for, for the Timmy Bay Buccaneers because he did an outstanding job on the Rays brush. But sadly, he's not making brushes at, at the times anymore. I mean, this is about probably about a year ago I asked him, but he wasn't making brushes anymore. So, so sadly, he wasn't. He stopped. He was too busy to do that, which I understand, because because this case Shave Works was a side uh, business for Kelly and Kevin, so it wasn't their main job. So I can see how it came out. It'd be pretty busy because I know they were making their products and selling it themselves on Etsy, and probably got so busy. To, probably got so busy doing that. Or you know, too busy to maintain a shop, so they they started selling at retail. I'm sorry, wholesale to, I believe like other wet shaving sites like the Razor Company. I believe West Coast Shaving. So they stuck around and kept doing it till till they're unable to do it anymore with because of, because of their careers, which I understand. But I bought a lot of soaps from K Shea Works, purchased a lot of soaps myself, and I loved every single one of them that I've used. And I purchased one of the soaps I purchased from, which is kind of cool, is I purchased uh, this one soap. It was based on the Brute scent that they made, that K Shea Works made. It's called. It's called Shaping Up, and it was based on Kelly's father's favorite scent, which was Brute, which his name was Big Tony. His name was Tony, but they call him Big Tony, and which was pretty cool. He actually came to one of the South Florida Wet Shavers meetup groups when she was going to be the president. I think I think they had a. Uh, a ceremony to honor her as being the, the top uh, artisan for some of the shapers at the time, and which which K Shapers was, and and she brought her father with her, Tony. So I got him to sign, bought the soap with me. I got him to sign the soap. Actually, let me show you real quick. <laughs> it's right over here. So another one, of my, another one of my favorite soaps is uh, shaping up. So I got her father, which is this guy right here, to sign the soap, Big Tony, which was a pretty cool touch. So I happen to have it right there. I, I think I bought it from, I bought this from a shop called uh, Tampa Shape Company, and they were selling these, uh, K Shape Works there. And I just bought this, I saw him there, I had him sign it, so I thought that's a pretty cool touch that I got to actually meet the guy behind the picture here and the soap. But yeah, very, very nice, Brutes, Brutes scent. If you like Brute, you would love this. This is very nice. And that's one of my prized things in my wet shaving den here. So let me go get fish the shave here. This number three setting is really awesome. I love this setting. Probably my favorite setting on the Rex Ambassador razor here. And this razor is amazing. This is a great razor. A little bit pricey. I think it's like $249. But just a great razor. It's it's 
He got some, got the best knurling in the game right there, right on the handle. Nice and heavy. It's about 106 grams and about three and a half inches long. So great. Just a nice hefty razor. I just love this razor. And I was blessed to win this razor. I didn't buy this. I actually won this in a raffle through the South of the Wet Shavers. And this was pre presented to me from Matt from Razor Emporium. And just an honor to win this. I mean, he's the one that actually, actually donated this for the raffle. I actually won this razor. So, and I've been using it ever since then. I, mean, I love this razor. It's, it's a great razor. And it's just one of the best razors. It's definitely worth the money if you can afford it. I couldn't afford it at the time, but it, after using it, I probably would try to get this. And I know they had this in three different... Actually, they came out... Since they this came out, they, they came out with a longer version, an XL version, I believe. It's a bit longer handle. And they also came out with uh, three different new finishes for the Razor. I think it's gold, um, erodium, I think, and also a more polished version of this of the stainless steel right here. So definitely if you want to upgrade your razor and get those finishes on there, you can. So you have you have more choices instead of just the regular the regular finish which 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 I happen to like. I like this regular finish. Alright guys, that's the shave. I mean that's that's the second pass. Pretty nice pass. Very, very nice. I'll be right I'm gonna go right to my face and I'll be right back. Alright guys back for my final pass here. And it looks like I can have enough soap on the brush to do that, hopefully. Yeah, there's definitely enough soap on the brush to do that. Look at that nice slather there. This stuff is amazing. This, if they made this in the cologne, this scent, I would buy it. It's that, it's that, it's that beautiful of a scent. So I wish I would have bought more of these sets when they're available. So I'm gonna have one more one more tub of this. Which is which is this one right here. This one's a brand well this is a sort of a brand new tub. But I went through another one before already. But I wish I would have bought a South Philly Weight Shavers, the uh, Key Lime Barbershop, when I had a chance, because I'm almost done with that one. Actually I am done with that one. I don't have any more left in my in my back there in my shave bin. All right, guys, we're going to go against the grain, the money pass here. Yeah, definitely a nice razor with the, with the tweet blade. Very nice combination. So definitely going to be sad not seeing k shave works anymore around, but hopefully they'll stay connected to the weight shaving community a little bit. I know Kevin's still a weight shaver, so I think he'll still be involved. But I believe they're both counselors, I guess. I guess some kind of counselors, uh, mental health counselors, I believe. I know Ke I know Kelly is. So uh, very, very commendable profession that, that, that she does. Because with mental health is very important nowadays, especially what's going on with these times, pan pandemic, just, just, just everything right now. Just, this, just, just, this time of, just during these times, you know, mental health is very important to address. Yeah, so I know, I know they needed to focus on their careers, which I commend them for doing that. But they made great products, though. Really good products. And I believe on their website, they mentioned they're going to be coming out with a new soap called The Ending. I think The Final Ending or something. So I'm looking forward to trying that one out. When it does come out. I think it, hopefully, it's going to be on... I believe it's going to be released to the Razor Company or maybe West Coast Shaving. I don't know which one it's going to be released to, but hopefully they'll they'll announce it when they do come, when they do release it. But I believe it's that one and uh, Grape Delicious. I think Grape Delicious. I think is another one they're going to be, they're going to be releasing uh, two soaps before they before they bow out of 
of cliche works, but but great artisans. I mean, I just want to say thanks for everything you guys done for South of the West Shavers, for the West Shaving communities, for making great products, making great stuff like this, great brushes, uh, razors. I, th I think Kevin also restored razors, straight razors, if I'm not mistaken. So definitely did a lot more than just make soaps. They made did the other things too. But anyway, guys, that's my shave. Set was amazing. The set, Miami Nights, was amazing. The shave was amazing with the tweet blade and in the Rex and Bastard. That was a great setting, number three. Very happy with that setting. But let me rest my face, guys. I'll be back for the post shave. Be right back. All right, guys, back for the post shave. And I'll be using the Miami Nights aftershave splash. So a little bit, got a little bit left in there, about half, maybe, yeah, about half full bottle. Label's a little bit wrecked a little bit because I've used this a lot, as you can tell. This is my second bottle of this stuff. But let's go ahead and shake it up and use it. And I believe this is the Witch Hazel version, so so no stinging alcohol in this in this aftershave. But let's go ahead and use it on the face. Very nice. I love the scent. The scent is amazing. But I'm gonna miss this miss I'm gonna miss K Shave Works for making stuff like this. But amazing shave. Amazing group of artisans, two, well, two, Kelly and Kevin. Uh, great, just great contributors to the Western community. Gonna miss you guys. But anyway, guys, that's, that's my shave. So, Miami Nights, this is my tribute shave to K Shave Works. Thank you guys again for everything you've done. My favorite, one of my favorite soaps to use. I use that soap. I use the Rex Ambassador on number three. So, a great setting. This is my favorite setting. About, you know, middle, middle of the setting. It's like number three out of six. So, middle of the road setting. So, this is probably my, my favorite setting on this razor. And I used my Razor Rock 400 Limited Edition brush here. I, just, I love this brush. It's pretty nice and hefty brush. It's one of my favorite brushes I reach for all the time when I'm doing a shave. Either on camera or off camera. It's just a great brush. And last but not least, the Tweet Blade. Awesome blade. I'm really loving these blades. This is probably my. I used the first blade for about five shaves, and I got five shaves off the first blade. And each shave was 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 fantastic. I mean, after the, after the fifth shave, it was starting to tug a little bit, but it still got through the shave pretty well. So, so I'm really impressed with these, with these blades. Very very great. Very very nice blades. Definitely great performing blades. And from what I've seen, they're very very inexpensive on on Amazon and different websites. But guys, that's my shave. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Thank you again, thank you again to K Shave Works. And really thanks, thank you to the Southwest Way Shavers for allowing them to make, make some great soaps because they made some amazing soaps over the years. I mean, I just can't speak enough for this. And Key Lime Barbershop. I'm trying to think about what other soaps they made. They made a, they made a, Riptide and another soap that I, I like, which was uh, Dell's Barbershop. So they made some amazing soaps for, you know, for, for South West Shavers and just for different groups and also for themselves. So K Shave Works, and I miss you guys. Thank you for what, what, everything you've done for West Shavers. Uh, many blessings and the best wishes for what you guys do moving forward from here. I know you guys will be successful. And just want to say, go Bucks. Hopefully we can win tomorrow against the Rams, and hopefully we can host the NFC Championship game next week. But anyway, guys, Super Bowl champions, we're defending. I hope they win. Uh, gonna be watching football this weekend. Hope you guys will be doing the same. Maybe you guys will be doing the same. Maybe your favorite team will be playing, but my favorite team will be definitely playing tomorrow. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoy your shaves. Have a good week. Stay safe. Take care.